G'day fellas and welcome back to the Coordinator Dynasty. Quick update, tomorrow there will be some Madden on the channel. I'm going to be running this series as a trial episode and if it gets a lot of support then Madden might come back to the channel for the foreseeable future. But anyway, let's worry about what we got here first. Today we jump back into the quadruple headers and we start that off against a really good school in Baylor. I mean, we're pretty good, but these guys are considerably better. If we can beat Baylor, I do not see us losing the rest of the schedule. And we might get ourselves a spot at a proper Power 5 school. So fellas, if you're new around here and you enjoy Madden and NCAA content, this is the channel for you. Don't forget to sub. All my socials are down in the didgeridoo. And if you would like to pick yourself up some G Fuel, do not forget discount code CROW for 30% off. That being said, fellas, let's get into it. We have to look out for their overpowered 97 overall middle linebacker. All I can say is lucky this is game one and not game four. Otherwise, it's an automatic loss. In fact, I don't even like this run play to start out. Go, Otoviano. We got some good blocks. Attaboy. Marcus. Oh. <laughs> I meant to spin. Yeah, nice blitz, nerd. Right over... Okay, that's a really bad start, but we can bounce back from this. Okay, Baylor's going to go down score immediately. Nine and a half times out of ten. That's like a 50-yard gain. It's, I can't believe he picked up on that. Woo, we are outmatched. Right, let's take off. Bro, how did he stick to him like... That's the same guy! Same quarterback, bro! Look at, look at him stick with him like that! That is unbelievable coverage! I can't even talk my way out of that one, mate. That was just... Bro, obviously I can't throw it to Zane in this game. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna throw it to Zane. <laughs> Let's go, baby! First down. 10 is nothing, man. Defense gets one stop. Get that block. Otoviano! Ah, oh, he's so slow, though. I don't know which one it is. They've got two cornerbacks. Uh-oh. I'm just faster. Get it! Oh, no. We got to punt it back. Ooh, turnover. Defense bails us out. I got to put points on the board here, right? I absolutely have to put points on the board here. I got the out speed. Let's go, baby. Nobody's going to stop us. In the end zone, Javoni, man. All right, we come out the second half only down by three after two horrible mistakes. That's what it comes down to right now. Mistakes kind of cost us this game. Got him with the juke. Got him up. Ah, come on. We haven't passed the ball well today at all, but that's to be expected, man. We got two potential to top 25 teams straight off the rip. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, Bailey. Get up. Oh, he tried. He tried. He made an attempt. That'll allow me to punch it in. Let's go, Oto. Oh, man. What a game we got on our hands. We finally take the lead. Now, one more stop might just do it. See if Zane can get open through the guard. It's man coverage. You already know. If they're calling man, I got to swerve on him. Oh, don't fumble it, please. Hoping Oto can maybe cut up here, or AP3 could save us. There we go. Oto, pass on the run! He's in for the touchdown, let's go! That's gonna buy us some time right there, even if Baylor goes for the touchdown. They cannot win. Wow, that was fast. Man, he, running back is still tired. There we go, nice juke slide, woo! Don't take a hit. This is it right here. This is what it all comes down to. Third and three. There's going to be less than 30 seconds left. Can we survive Baylor on the road? What an accomplishment it would be, Oto! We'll get past the D line. Wasn't an impressive stat line? Not at all. But you know what is impressive? Knocking off a power five school. So I don't want to glorify the victory, but we started off sloppy as anything, mate. 
Actually had a 70% completion rate, which is really solid. Javoni, 104 yards on the ground, 42 yards for Oto. He, both of them came up incredibly clutch. Receiving at 49, 12, 54, and 8, with Oto getting the only touchdown. And defense, major props to these guys. I don't know how they managed to do it, but after letting in two scoring drives back to back, sacked them three times. We had an interception to Kirk Lockhart, the junior free safety, and the rest is history. So hopefully now we can tone it down just a little bit. We got FCS. Who doesn't love a good FCS game? I don't know how they managed to get D+, but they did. Because that loss to Texas is so fresh in our minds. I just don't see us in the top 25 or even receiving votes. No, no, not receiving any votes. Okay. But you got teams like Syracuse in here, mate. I mean, they're pretty bloody good, but it's Syracuse in the top five. Let's not forget that 2,000 like goal, fellas. Every single episode, we have hit it. Let's not make this one the one that doesn't get there. Let's get into it, fellas. Let's test the waters with everybody's favorite play, mate. We're going with the mountain read option. Look at that. Broke two tackles. I just ran all the way back to test it out. No way. That's crazy, bro. The disrespect. Look at Bailey. Look at Zane. <laughs> He got to block that free safety. He's like six foot five, mate. Not even a problem for us. It's weird having Oto and Johnson as the two stars. Rose, I'm about to let it go. Okay, all right, bro. FCS, th that was lucky. All right, we got AP3 on the outside. If we get blocks for any amount of time, yeah, look, I'll just take that. Nice and simple. Nobody's heating up. That's a touchdown for the running back. No, it's not. Oh my, you've got to be jocking me, Chanma. Bro, that was a laser and nobody could tell me any different. All right, we got a turnover. We got bailed. I got bailed for the second time in this episode. Oh, look at that. Look at the blocking, man. Zane needs to be a star player. Second touchdown he's been a part of blocking-wise. Got him. Let's go. Me and Oto, the squad. Hold on. I want to. Oh, look at that. Oh, man. Imagine. I've been keeping that play in my back pocket for like three months, bro. And I've never had a chance to use it. Throw that little pitch. I finally got my chance. Let's go, Zane. Touchdown. They give us the ball back with 30 seconds. Crappy man coverage. Zone coverage. Zane is gone. So is Circle. Bailey with a big grab. Um, I don't know why. He, uh, it's okay. That's a big time play. Let's run it in, bro. It's the easiest way sometimes, man. Just run it. Oh, I got the same guy with two different moves, bro. No way. That was the most... Did I get three people on the same step back? I don't want to go back and look at it because I know for a fact it's going to make my game run slow. But somebody let me know. What was that? Ah, we could add square... Oh, look, X. Marcus Williams. Wide open. Right over the top, Oto, looking more like a receiver out there than anything. FCS basically a lockdown right now. I think that might be enough. FCS put some last minute garbage time points on the board, but it's still a 50 point bloody win, mate. That looks like a player of the week nomination to me. 72% completion rate, four touchdowns, one pick. He also had 83 on the ground and three rushing touchdowns. So that is like, yeah, 400 and some yards, mate. Graves came in at 29. Oto unfortunately went backwards, but as you will see on the receiving end, Jake Bailey 144, Oto 115 and two. Zane was 72 and a touchdown. Everybody other than Robert French getting involved. So mid Tennessee, not off to the greatest start for once. We're actually on par with the team that we're going up against. Putting the league on notice, 388 yards, seven carries for another 83, seven total touchdowns, I mean. I mean, my goodness, mate. 
If we keep up this kind of play right here, we have a Heisman coming this year. And with that being said, fellas, let's jump into this game. So we should be fine, but our defense has to look out for some studs in the backfield and a receiver. All right, boys, this should be no different than the last couple games. Let's get to work. Bad snap. But look at crazy, mate. Oh, my God, it's the first play. Ready? Oh, I, I we got a power back, and I'm trying to juke him out. Like, come on. Got him. Cut it back. Got that block. Wow, Javoni. His agility is obviously in the 90s. You can tell right there. Mid-Tennessee can't put any points on the board. It's already the beginning of the end. Shouts out to the defense for the stop. Run up circle. I want to take that, Marcus Williams. Nice blitz. <laughs> Shoot! Oto Miyano, come on! We can't out. That's the only problem. He can't outspeed anything. The Heisman voters are watching. They're just thinking, we can't give this guy the Heisman. Are you crazy? We're going to put points on the board. Look, this, this linebacker can't beat us, man. There we go. Nice job block. Slide. What are you thinking? Oto's the play again? Right in the middle of them both. AP3 August. About time you got a touchdown. Be waiting for that. And would you look at that? Defense gets a turnover. Man, I feel bad now. Look at this blitz. <laughs> it's so cute. Let me just take off. Guaranteed first down. Go, Oto, carve him up. Got it with the juke move. They can't bring him down. If this were an online game, 21 skunk. But we got a turnover, bro. They get the ball to start the second half. They turn it over immediately. Imagine. Get that block. Look at the blocking, bro. Number 88. That's August. AP3 with the block this time. Ah, finally, they're on the board. Jeez, man. It looks like they're getting angry out there. The whole offense is on fire, though. I don't think anything matters anymore. Look at that. Nobody is out here. They sent an all-out blitz. Oto with his slow ass up the sideline. He's still going to score, man. I can't believe they went all in on that one play thinking we we're going to run it or something. If we score again, this it's a wrap. You know, we're out of here. They still haven't subbed in the backups, though, which I find interesting because the game is over. You know? Right over the top. Let's go, August. Watch this. Oh, Marcus! There was like a gap, mate, of a few feet. He still got in there. Go get those Russian yards up. Oh, I didn't want to do it! Oh, okay, he didn't fumble it. That's the important thing. Thank you very much. Ready? Marcus in the end zone. Shouts out to the New Mexico transfer. That's my guy right there, man. Mid-Tennessee is going to give us the ball straight back. So we officially go to 4-1 and one on the season. Javoni, three touchdowns, 66% completion rate. On the rushing end, added with another 131. Even Oto Viano with a touchdown today. Receiving and very evenly distributed, everybody getting involved. Blocking shouts out to them today. And defensively, man, I don't know what these guys have been on. I feel like we're going to get investigated for tampering, but these guys have absolutely been on fire and are a large part of why we're winning so many games. So what do you say, boys? You want to go have a sticky beak at the Heisman watch? I have a feeling it's all running backs. This guy lost in the last game and only had 102 yards. How are we not even in the discussion, though, mate? Last year, we took our UTSA. In fact, a D lineman from UTSA actually left a comment on that video. I'm drawing a blank because I just woke up. Shouts out to that guy, man. Let yourself be known in the comment section. I'll pin your comment they've stepped up their game even though they're one and three they come in with a b plus on offense so this is going to be a battle of the defenses whoever steps up most 
is going to come away with the dub. We're dropping the exact same amount of points. So with that being said, fellas, this is going to be the last game of the episode. Don't forget that 2,000 like goal. This is the game where I'm notorious for throwing picks. I don't want to lose is my point. Come on, let's go. I love playing in the Alamo Dome. Without a doubt, one of my favorite stadiums. You don't get to play in many domes in this game, so I appreciate every time I do. Uh-oh. Blitz is coming strong. Somebody's got to cut up. Triangle over the top. Big Zane, man. Going to bail us out. Let's go. I got bumped, but Marcus will not be denied. Dot him right over the top. French, he does not get any screen time at all, bitch. In this game, he's going to catch the first touchdown. I'm trying to think of a player that you can, like, compare to our Heisman campaign. We're clearly not the best quarterback, but we, we got hard. I don't know how else to just... Wow, that was a really horrible time to promote that. This whole game has been their defense clowning on us big time. Like, I'm really struggling right now, and rightfully so, because it's game four, but... Nice blitz. Look at the... Look... Do you see what I'm talking about, though? This D lineman is faster than me, my quarterback. Not the worst thing that could have happened, but definitely not the best. And if we can stop Baylor multiple times, we can stop these guys. It's just their... It's just their blitzes, bro. One-on-one. -on -one. I don't like this matchup, though, man. They always put their star player on us. Look at that. Create some separation, Bailey. That's a massive first down. That's going to keep the drive alive. Way to exploit, man. Wow, Marcus caught that right on his head, bro. He didn't even try and make a play on that. French, could you do the impossible? French! Second touchdown of the game. That's the second touchdown of his career right there. Imagine just getting your number called multiple times in the same game. That's got to be a good feeling. All right, all up to the defense. Are we going to have a sweaty? We are going to have a sweaty as UTSA takes four plays to score another touchdown, man. Back and forth affair. Take that. Get the easy yardage. I don't like this matchup again, dude. They always put their star cornerback on us. Oh, he's gone. Look at that, mate. What is that corner doing? AP 362 yards to the house. Defense finally gives us a chance to breathe. We put points on here. The pressure might be too insurmountable. Oh, no. AP 3 off the sideline. He just came off a 60-yard touchdown. And now he's got 74, mate. And French got two touchdowns today as well. I'm so proud of the squad. All the players who never had a chance are all stepping up in the same game. Come on. Yes. Ready? Oh, got it with the step back. Jeez, man. Look at that yardage, though. Okay, the real question is, are UTSA going to start blowing timeouts? Do they think they have a chance in the game? What's going to happen? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we got some separation. Ready? Oh, I tried to swerve him. With that being said, they're not going to call any timeouts. I think they just accept defeat. Ryan Thompson, the five-star freshman, going to come in. Whoa, okay. That's game. So another episode where we go undefeated. They seem like a foreign thing going back like four episodes ago. But we've strung together some really solid episodes lately. 376 yards and five touchdowns. This might be the most dominant game yet. 58 yards on the ground. Nice little average receiving end. August. AP3 with two touchdowns. Robert French with two touchdowns as well. And with that being said, fellas, if you made it this far in the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. Hey, I love to talk. I don't talk. I get it. Yeah, you know I'm about to dip it. Kill me, I'm a let it. Run into the bag like I'm
so athletic, I've been up since six, making hits like tennis. I've been on fire, I just need my credit. Wanna go far, need to change my settings. Reaching for the stars on my feet, touch heaven. Heaven head first, bitch.